FDIC in the studio. It is the one and only Lee Yancey, House of Representatives, District 74, Chairman of Drug Policy. The medical marijuana bill that will be proposed in the legislature. How you doing? Paul, I'm delighted to be here with you. Good to have you. If I'm here with you, that means I'm still alive and kicking, and you were just talking about that. I'm I'm just happy to be anywhere these days. Well, I'm glad you're doing better. And You didn't get COVID either, did you? Didn't get COVID. I've somehow managed not to get COVID. I've been vaccinated and, you know, encourage people to do that if they can. Uh, so, but I feel I feel good about that and feel safe with it. Safe with it. As of this morning, it is 7:22 as we speak here. If this is being replayed later, then check the clock. Uh, we didn't make a mistake. Uh, do you know anything about the special session? I know that the speaker and the lieutenant governor have requested that the governor call one, and it's it's in the governor's hands now. So, but you don't. I, know be- I believe else. the date was supposed to be. I think they asked for it to be called October 1st, which would be this Friday, but that's totally at the discretion of the governor whenever whenever he feels like we need to need to call it. I'm sure his yeah. lawyers are reviewing the Have you been the draft. through a special session before? I have. Not not this time, but way way back when. How 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 much of a time does the because you got things preparations you need to make housing and travel and everything else, business appointments. How much of a leeway does the uh, does the governor normally give you? Twenty four, forty eight hours, or it seems like I remember having at least a week's notice. But yeah. I don't know if there's a sta- in statute how long you I have know, to give. I, I, but, I know that, but I'm just wondering, but, um, as common courtesy, how long would you give somebody? You know, if we could have it during the state fair, we could all go down and get a chicken on a well, stick. That's next you week. Know, yeah, is that so, this week? That's next week. I think it's next week. Yeah. yeah. So, so uh, you know, <laughs> that's not a bad idea. <laughs> so, would you rather have him call it Monday so you can go all the way through the week there, or? Uh... I think we want to get in and get out, <laughs> do this as quickly as possible. Well, I I, I know a guy who uh, would been... like to have your business. He's not real happy about you giving some of the business to him, and that's uh, the commissioner Andy Gibson. Well, you know, Andy's a great guy, and uh, negotiations are currently ongoing, and so. Yeah. Um, We'll just all right, leave now, it at that. Tell me about, uh, first of all, there's just so many different parts of this that uh, we need to talk about. Let's cover the, the, the most uh, caustic things. Are you satisfied w- with the way that the opt-out, opt-in legislation reads in this? And again, this is a draft. It can be changed. Sure. So uh, what what I'll say say is that this bill is is probably not a bill that either me or Senator Blackwell would have brought to you alone, but it is mm-hmm. it is a bill that we were able to bring together. Uh, we've been I've been involved in, in this process for almost three months now. For three entire months, almost ninety days, I have read and looked and watched YouTube videos and studied other bills. Uh, I'm sick of medical marijuana, but I know that there are people who are sick who need medical medical marijuana, and so that's why I'm still working on this. Um, as far as the opt-in, opt-out language, it's very similar to what we have with the uh, liquor uh, referendums, opt-in, opt-out. Uh, the way we have it written is that uh, now you're going to have 90 days to opt-out. We move that from 60 to 90. So from from the effective date— Okay, hang date, on. Okay. Hang on. From 90 days to opt out after this passes, July the 1st of next year, is that's when it becomes effective? No, it becomes effective upon upon passage, upon the governor's signature. So it starts immediately. So immediately the local municipalities out there, and I guess counties too, would they not? Certainly. Those are going to be separate. You, you might be able to have it in the county but not in the city. So that's correct. And you could have and, and that it's all, work. there's severability as well. You could have cultivating but not processing or processing but not a dispensary. You have to have a referendum or an election on both or that? No, they would just put it all in the same referendum. However, however they, but wanted, you could actually to, have, however they wanted to split it up. In other words, vote yes or no on both of those. That, that's the way. So you is. could actually have a county that could grow it but couldn't sell it? Well, couldn't sell I'm it. I'm sorry, could, a, a municipality that could sell it but they couldn't grow it and, and vice versa. Yes. I mean, yeah. they would sell it. The, the cultivators or processors would would wholesale it to, yeah. to the dispensary, but then the dispensary would sell it to okay. the. Let me simplify yeah. it. Okay, you could, you could you could grow it in the county, but you couldn't sell it in the county. Un- unless, unless if the county opted out of having a dispensary, yeah. then you couldn't sell it in the county. All right, now 
that would be within 90 days of, or is it automatically an opt-out? It's Everybody's automatically in okay, unless they, they opt to, out. And they have That's to right. opt out. Mm-hmm. So they have got to call an election immediately after this passes. If they want out. That means they, next week if it happened this Friday. Well, they have 90 days to, to call an election. Well, so. I mean, they got to start the process. Sure, sure. And then um, it's going to be a strictly uh, simple majority on the, on the up or down. That's my understanding. All right. Now, how long will that be good? In other well, words, wait, if they, well, if, let me stop. Let me stop. Yeah. So if they want to opt out, that mm-hmm. is a vote of the alderman or a vote of the supervisors. Okay. So okay. On, they're it, the it's only not one, an election. Then. No, no. Okay. They're the only ones who vote to opt out. Okay. The alderman or supervisor. So they can do that at any kind of any call meeting they have. Now, if the if the registered voters in that jurisdiction want to have a reverse referendum, then they mm-hmm. then they start gathering signatures. 1,500 signatures or 20% of voters, whichever is less. And then at the po- at the time they uh, petition to have an election, I think within 60 days, they have to they have a vote whether or not to opt in. Within 60 days of the required uh, signatures being achieved. That's right. And checked. Yes. And they have 60 days to schedule an election. So two months later, there will be an election up and up and down or... It if, would force if, the municipality if the, to opt if, in. If the voters want to do that, if they want yeah. to collect those signatures, it's home rule. You're if, letting you're letting the local people decide uh, how whether or not they're going to have it. If they decide to opt out or opt in, then what happens to the people who don't want it or do want it? Is there another election? How long will that be written in stone? So, okay, once it's in, it's in. You want to give businesses the the security of knowing that the rug's not going to be pulled out from under them if they come and invest their money. Mm-hmm. So uh, if if the people vote to opt in and it fails, they have to wait two years. It's two years. That's right. I got you. All right. Just is, like, is just like in, alcohol. Is that in here? It is. Uh, so it's a two-year uh, buffer on that one, I can That's understand. Right. Mm-hmm. But if they pass it, then it's going to be like uh, you just – there's no way to go back on that one? That's right. Um, Section 2 has allowable amount of smoking uh, up to four joints per day. Is that what everybody else is doing, uh, four, four joints per day, if you're smoking? So 3.5 grams uh, is of uh, medical Section flour two, yeah. is, is the unit uh, that we're using. And then of those units, uh, you get eight units is a daily limit that a person can buy in a dispensary. That is generally a week's worth. Uh, so uh, you could buy a week's worth at a time. So, you know, I think it varies across the country. I think mm-hmm. we're allowing a little bit less than most people allow. What A little bit less? That's right. One of the things that people are worried about is this thing, because everybody's talking about it's going to make a lot of money. But the better restricted this is, the more we talk about doing this for the people who actually need it. To be honest, in the state of Mississippi, that's going to be a smaller number than most people think. Uh, by the time the doctors are going to sit down and say, all right, I'm going to give you this card, and you can do this at uh, any uh, any uh, retail outlet. Um, if it doesn't make the money that we think it's going to make, is there a possibility this could really strain our uh, general revenue? Because we're talking about starting how many agencies here? Or three separate agencies, uh, not to start an agency, but overworking three separate agencies. And well, they're going to have to have more manpower. Possibly so. It's, it's been estimated that we have a $700 million to $1 billion illegal medical marijuana black market in Mississippi right now. Well, do that again. $700 million to a $1 billion. Uh, dollars of illegal marijuana in Mississippi. Not illegal right medical marijuana. No, no, Ill- illegal marijuana, period. In Excuse other me. words, we think street value right now, there's a billion dollars uh, on the streets of Mississippi a being year. smoked. A year. That's, that, I doubt very seriously. That's what they estimated it was. Who gave you that number? In Oklahoma, and Oklahoma and Mississippi have similar populations. So it's not in Mississippi, it was Oklahoma and you're right. just Right, we're just, we're just tra- we're transferring. We're mirroring those numbers. Yeah, that's right, because of the population numbers. But, um, you know, w- it, we would be the 38th state who has put medical marijuana in place, yep. and uh, they've all been able to sustain their programs you know, through their fees and taxes. Uh, I love the words, I'm sick of marijuana. <laughs>